Hey guys, it's Jackie, and I'm starting a new series on my channel called Style Jacked, where I show you how to get a celebrity look from hair, makeup, all the way down to the outfit, and for a lot less money. Today, I'm recreating Miranda Collins' look from the new show Ravenswood. This is a look she had in the first episode, and I'm going to show you how to get it, so let's get started. To start off this makeup look, I'm taking Benefit Porefessional Primer and warming it between my hands and then applying it onto my face. This will help the foundation last longer. For foundation, I'm using Revlon Nearly Naked and using my fingers to apply dots all over my face before I use my foundation brush to blend it in. I love using concealer not only to cover extra blemishes, but to add some highlight to my face. So I'm applying Benefit Fake Up under my eyes and in the center of my face like my nose, forehead, and chin. I will swim to To make sure everything is set and lasts all throughout the day, I'm taking L'Oreal True Match Powder and buffing that into my skin. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow in Busy Signal and applying that just on my lid, stopping at the crease. And these don't even need a primer, they're so awesome. All the eyeshadows I'm going to be using are from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and starting with Foxy, I'm applying that just on my brow bone and a little on the inner corner for a highlight. With YDK, I'm applying that right on top of the cream shadow we just applied. Now for the crease color, I'm taking Tease and a big fluffy brush and just blending that to soften the lines of the shadows we have so far. Taking the color Busted, I'm applying that in the crease to add some depth to my eyes and make sure everything is blended nicely together. Now to add a smoky effect to the eyes, I'm taking Blackout and applying that just on the outer half of my eyelid and then making sure you blend everything out. With that Busted color again, I'm applying it under my lower lash line. I'm going to line my waterline with Anastasia's Covet Waterproof Eyeliner in Noir. Then line my upper lash line with Ico Liquid Metal Eyeliner. I'm creating a very thin line staying close to my lash line. Now add several coats of mascara and here I'm using Ico Black Magic Mascara. Miranda has full dark eyebrows, so I'm filling in my eyebrows with Anastasia's Brow Wiz Eyebrow Pencil. Moving back to the face, I'm adding Hula Bronzer from Benefit to the perimeter of my face. Finishing off the face with Maybelline Medium Nude Blush, I'm applying that onto the apples of my cheek and blending back. And last but not least, I'm taking Revlon Color Burst Lipstick in Sienna and dabbing it onto my lips for a light wash of color. These might be discontinued, so just find a rosy mauve lip color and just use it sparingly. And voila! This makeup look is complete! Moving on to the outfit, Miranda had a brownish olive green skirt and I found this one at Nordstrom DP, which is almost the exact same color as hers. The floral tank is almost an exact match also and I found this bad boy at Forever 21. Finding a denim jacket with a fur collar was a lot harder than I thought because most stores in my area only had leather jackets with fur collars, but I found this one at Nordstrom BP. And Miranda had a darker denim jacket, but this was the closest match I could find. Miranda wore a lock necklace which I couldn't find so I got this heart shaped necklace with my initial on it from Forever 21. The long tooth necklace is from Charlotte Russe, and both my rings are from Forever 21. The gloves I found at Old Navy, but I just cut the finger parts off to resemble Miranda's tough girl look. She mix and match metals a lot in her outfit, so I went with silver feather earrings from Forever 21. And my burgundy tights are from Old Navy, and the combat boots are Charlotte Russe. And that completes this Miranda Collins look. 
I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to share more Style Jacked videos with you guys. Leave your celebrity requests in the comments below and your comment might just be featured in my next Style Jacked video. I wish you